It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the NFC South. It's the Buccaneers and the Saints, and it's all up next. The first open back in 1975. There's a look inside the iconic Caesars Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Today, we've got an NFC South matchup as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the New Orleans Saints. Brandon Gunn joined by Charles Davis here at the Superdome. But Charles, these Saints, after a good run from 2017 to 2020, you kind of been middle of the pack the last couple of years, seven and 10 a season ago. What's their recipe for turning things around? I think continuing the short passing game that they're known for and see if some of their playmakers can make some short passes into longer plays. And then on defense, continuing to pressure quarterbacks in the pocket. They tend to get after them pretty hard. And then for the visiting Bucs, you know, all of a sudden Super Bowl 55 feels like it was a long time ago. Tom Brady retired. Some of the stalwarts of that team have moved on. They did win the NFC South last year, but they did so with a losing record at eight and nine. And sometimes when you have a chance to begin again, other people emerge and play at a level that you don't expect. And that's what Tampa Bay needs from this team in 2023. Here's the former Illini kicker, Chase McLaughlin, to get us started. And we are underway from the Superdome. Taken at the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. So here come the Saints to take over for the first time. And here's the new man under center after nine seasons as a Raider. Derek Carr is the guy. It's going to take some time to adjust to seeing Carr running out in a new uniform instead of black and silver. It's black and gold. 35,000 yards and over 200 touchdowns with the Raiders. The Saints more than willing to let him air it out all game long to a talented group of pass catchers in the Big Easy. Carr right away going to look to throw. And oh, right away he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And it'll be first and goal at the seven-yard line. To put it mildly, that is not the way anyone wants to start off a game. You fumble on your first offensive snap. But now what you're worried about is, does that linger throughout the game for your guys on offense? And how's the defense going to handle it? Because no one expects to run out on the field on the first play and have to all of a sudden start to play themselves. So here are the Buccaneers ready to go on offense with a new man at the helm here for 2023 in his sixth season now in the NFL, Baker Mayfield. And so often when you've stolen a possession as they just did there. On the first play. The first play, picking up the fumble. The natural inclination is to attack, go after them big. Sometimes what you just want to do is put the ball in the hands of one of your best players and one of their favorite plays and establish your dominance that way. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Here's White. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Rashad White taking it in from seven yards away. And the Bucs take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shahid. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10.
Now Carr. His throw incomplete. I love those corners who can not only cover, but don't mind getting a little physical as well. How about the coverage on that play, knocking that pass away? Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. In his seventh season now, here's Alvin Kamara. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Here's third and seven. Now Carr. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout as they tend to the injured player. And not the man they would want to see. That's Chris Alave getting medical attention. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara to the 43, second down. This is second and eight. Throwing now is Carr. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And it's third down. From the gun, it's Carr. It's caught inside the 25. A big-time play there for New Orleans. 44 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Carr. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. to throw his car. This is caught. Touchdown, Saints. Keith Kirkwood, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints are an extra point away from drawing level. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that went good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there, tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. 
Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They run straight ahead here with White. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. It may be only a gain of three yards, but that back, he deserves a lot more credit on the play. That could have easily been stopped at the line, but his vision and his determination found some space to turn it into that modest gain. From the 43, here's a second and seven. Mayfield looks to throw. And there's a short one taken in by Otten. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Now a second and ten. On the draw, it's White. And good running, going to get this down close to a first at the Saints 41. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit them with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? But you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field. They don't think of one thing. Get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. First down, Mayfield. Quick throw, finding Mike Evans. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable game. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll try the right side here with White. Demario Davis there on the stop. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know he stays what we call clean and no one gets to him. The guy playing the middle linebacker position, the guy we call Mike, that means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. On second down, they'll run with White. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent gain and first down. Simply put, you've got to put more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. From the gun, Mayfield. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. White. 
He is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Now Mayfield on third and goal. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. From the left half should be a fairly easy one here. And this one is right through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. After the main field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The New Orleans offense set to take over. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Some teams like to start aggressive to begin a drive, but this is still what you expect to see in normal situations. Just call a simple run, get a few yards to begin the series, and set yourself up for something bigger on second down. Here's second and seven. Again, it's Kamara. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. It shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Stuck for the loss by Devin White. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Thomas, the intended target, and that'll make it third down. Car going to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. 
You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward, incomplete pass. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Taking it about the 16. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They begin the drive on the ground. It's right. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. From the 25, here's second and six. Mayfield. Otten brings it in over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Now a give up the middle. This is White, and he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and eight. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Complete right side to Otten. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 33. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football as they're looking at a second down and nine to go. Here's Mayfield. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. They got to get to the 23 here on third. Now Mayfield. That is caught. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 15-yard line. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Now back to the ground game with White. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Plays like that, when you see the athleticism of a guy over 300 pounds, you, you forget that they can do that. They're so athletic. Yeah, and I love how it all came together. He won the leverage battle at the line of scrimmage. Then he won the battle with his hands to shed the blocker. And how about the agility to get into the backfield and run him down? No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. On third down, Mayfield. Did he get the feet down? Yes! Touchdown! Trey Palmer, a 
16-yard touchdown. And the Buccaneers are able to extend their lead. Man, he just ran a terrific route. Extremely hard to defend when it's run that precisely and the ball's delivered that accurately. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. It's good to make it 17-7. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. On the return, here's Rashid Shaheed. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They find themselves down 17 to 7 as they start this drive first and 10. Here's Carr. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Vita Vea. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Throwing on second and long, Carr. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Oh, I don't know if he's sensing contact to come or what, but that's a ball he'd love to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. The Saints on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and 19. And now he'll turn and off his back foot. He'll heave this deep. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, they had that one sniffed out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you've got multiple defenders in the area and it winds up incomplete. Here comes the Saints punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So possession goes over here on the punt. Well, Rashad White and the rest of this Tampa Bay offense going back to work now. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. The drive starts with a run by White. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. Holding offense. And they get Tristan Wharf's first round pick in 2020. Still first down. Mayfield on play action. And incomplete on the deep ball. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create 
space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. Mayfield now. Over the middle to Evans. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. To throw, Mayfield. And that will be incomplete. So touchdowns on their first two drives, but looking like that won't be the case here. Yeah, it looks like someone put their dukes up a little bit, doesn't it? Maybe decided to finally make a stand because those first two drives, they got run over. Now, finally, got their feet under them, got a little bit of balance. They're getting off the field. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The New Orleans offense set to take over. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Every now and then you hope some volleyball training actually comes into play as a defender. When a ball's tipped in the air, nice play by the defense, got a hand on it, but when it's in the air, it's up for grabs. And too many times in this league, we've seen great plays happen for an offense as a result of a ball tipped in the air. So what you really want to do is be that guy who comes off the back line and spikes it, knocks it to the ground. Don't let him have that opportunity. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards to pick up there. Well, this hasn't really been a first half to remember on either side of the ball. But I think this kind of makes this an important drive. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can. And that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. On play action, now Carr. Complete, it's Johnson. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. From the 41, here's second and three. Here's Carr to throw. Over the middle, into the hands of Michael Thomas. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Car now on first down. Open man left side. Shahid has it. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Now Carr. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to his running back, Alvin Kamara. Third down here. Now Carr on the bootleg. He's got his target. That's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. 
Try to pound it in, Camaro. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Carr. And he's got his man in stride, complete. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. Camara will score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on the stat sheet. But you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead's down to a field goal at They will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Tampa Bay offense set to go again. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start here with a handoff to White. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. They go with White on the counter. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And they'll come up second and seven. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll be stopped at the 46. Gain of three. The Bucks on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and four. Throwing Mayfield. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Brian Brzee fought in and got him down. Well, they've been fighting and scratching and clawing for that first sack in the game, and it turns out to be a big one. Not just a short one right there behind the line. First one they get, 10-plus yards, and a guy who has the legs to escape most of these. down so Jake Camarda is out there oh, 
the offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. He's just been looking for some space. Yeah, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people, find some other playmakers, but always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara, and he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. So from the 37, here's a second and eight. Throwing now is Carr. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Try to get that one to Chris Olave, and it's third down. Card out of throw. Joe Tryon Shoyinka, showcase of the pass rush. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Second and 10. Mayfield to throw it. Quick slant to Otten. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run right after the catch. Third and short yardage. Mayfield work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. But well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. A good down to possibly take a shot. And in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. Mayfield looks to throw. Over the, and now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Mayfield. And this one nearly picked off. Yeah, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. 
Mayfield. He's got it at the 15. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And again, it's Mayfield. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I absolutely love that play call there. They just came off of a big play. They've got momentum in their direction. And they come back and take the shot at the end zone just unable to complete it by love and their aggressiveness. And you feel like the defense, a sigh of relief, could have been back-to-back -back really big plays. Here's Mayfield. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And this carry terminated at the eight-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked out since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two for one special to finish things off. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a solid first half for the running back, Rashad White. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. with a lead and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 out come the Buccaneers they'll have it first to start the third quarter and both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively just not able to get anything going so what needs to change I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. Let's we'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They stay on the ground with one. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And this is picked up by the 
Minnesota Saints. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. So that is not the way you want to begin the half when you're only up by one score, a turnover right away. And my guess that in the locker room, that's what the defensive coordinator on the other side was saying. We've got to find a way to get the football back for our offense. And they were able to do it. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And they've got to be thrilled with the situation they've inherited here. Thank you, defense. Thank you, indeed. They set them up the short field ahead of them. And now they've got a good chance to strike quickly and take the lead. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Now Mayfield. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That goes as a gain of 36 on third down. They came out with an aggressive mindset to start the third quarter, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them take more of these type of deep shots as this game moves along. They connected there. They expect to connect on more before this one's over. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. They're going to look to throw. Going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They defer to White out of the shotgun. Dropped at the 35, able to display his agility, but not much room to operate. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They go play action, Mayfield. touchdown Trey Palmer with his second touchdown of the afternoon and the Bucs are able to stretch out their lead so on third and medium they dial up the pass and it works to hit the end zone and it's really not a surprise to me that's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football but what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took. This is a diving effort by Evans. What a catch. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And this taken in at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now 
urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. They'll try to get the offense going with Kamara. And he's brought down, giving this one up to about the 35. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Joe Tryon there to make the tackle. Second and seven. They run it again with Kamara. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Working from the gun, it's Carr. That is caught, and he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And forget about finding a lane, he barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not gonna give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Here's Carr. And that is caught downfield by Thomas. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks' 29-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. To throw his car. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Back to the ground, it's Kamara. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Now Carr. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 16. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Kamara try the right side. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Levante David in on the tackle. When you're trying to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. On second down, here's Carr. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Saints have got it back to within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off the 
this third quarter and gets him right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Extra point splits the uprights, and they're within seven now at 28-21. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Offense heading back out, and with him comes Rashad White. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and ten at their own 25-yard line. They'll start the drive with a give to White, and this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a nice run to get himself back on the horse after his fumble. Nothing spectacular, but a good confidence-building run. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. To throw, Mayfield. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So the incomplete pass there, but the roughing the passer call bails them out. Which means you have to stay on the field on defense longer because you've given the offense free snaps, not to mention the free yardage after that mistake. On first and 10, Mayfield. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to skim the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, yeah. meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them? They were on him in a hurry. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Mayfield down. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back. But it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Part of the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? And they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. And they'll fake the jet sweep there and instead hand to Camara. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. 
That time on the outside, pretty nice job as a cornerback to shed any would-be blockers and make the tackle. And think about the praise we're giving him, what his coaches are giving him, but how about the respect he gets from his teammates to be a complete corner who doesn't just cover receivers, but also tackles ball carriers. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside, and they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline, you know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. is the target incomplete. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. They start to drive with White. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Mayfield off the play fake. He'll get that out to the flat to White. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. That's out wide for Palmer. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the Saints 42-yard line. Here's a second and five. Running out of the gun with White. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there and swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them, but on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 32-yard line. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. First down, here's White. There he goes, right side. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 103 yards rushing now as he's done it on 22 carries. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone, touchdown Tampa Bay. Keefed from 10 yards out. And the Bucs are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody, but those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable.
Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. It just drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have you either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead now up to 14. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Carr again here on second and 10. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. And this offense on third down today, well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This is third and 10. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. I don't know, he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. The mental focus yeah, of the whole that's thing. true. got to stay with it. That's true. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And it's fielded at the 34, 35 yards that time on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. A time to get another look at this Buccaneer offense. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 116 yards rushing now on 23 carries so far. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. They go right back to White here on first down. Taken down by Pete Werner. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine. So from just across the midfield stripe, here's second and nine. They keep it on the ground. White again. And good running, going to get this down close to a first at the Saints' 40-yard line. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On third and one, here's Mayfield. 
He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play. But we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll go up the middle with White. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Oh, he caught it. Just couldn't get the feet down. Couldn't get that toe tap sequence, right? I was ready to call him tippy toes if that one was completed. On third down, Mayfield. He'll dump this one off here to White. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good, and this will remain a two-touchdown game. Now this one now, not over yet, Charles. You've got a sliver of hope on that other sideline. You certainly do, because that would have made it a three-score game, and that probably would have been curtains at that point. But now if they can get down the field quickly and somehow get the ball back one more time, we may have a different ball game. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They begin on the ground with Kamara. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. No, that wasn't an explosive run. That wasn't one that took it all the way to the house. But boy, for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game, that's the kind of run they need, hopefully, to get themselves kick-started. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. To throw, it's Carr. Targeting Thomas on the out route, making the catch. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground. But every now and then, you find a little chink in the armor, and that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no gain. Now Carr throwing on second down. That'll be taken in by Shahid. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Kamara up the middle. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brings up second and nine at the Buccaneers' 37-yard line. Now Carr. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. I can assure you setting up a screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. 
Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Card out of throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 14. That third down conversion, good for 23. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory. And that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. A give to Kamara running right. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Partner, we always talk about how important third down is. But I think first down is equally important because Everything comes off of that play. If the defense wins the down, they are able to attack. If the offense wins the down, they might go faster. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Adam Prentice taking it in from a yard out. And the Saints have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And with a smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, sometimes you need to go with a fullback. They did. It worked. What's that thing about force and mass? How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Force equals mass times acceleration. Oh, that's big time stuff. That's, that's from the same guy uh, the apple dropped on his head, right? <laughs> Point after, right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Saints kick team booms it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then to not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Throwing Mayfield. Here's a quick pass. He's got Chris Godwin. And Godwin going to have a box first down as the tackle made right at the 30-yard line. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And some room to work. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung him. No appreciation for the guys from the backside that didn't allow any leakage and any, anybody could run him down from the nah, backside. They're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so so front side guys, good yeah. backside guys. Man, that, that's what you're supposed to do. I've had better. Okay, either way, worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice sizable game. And maybe the wrong read there is he's going to go down immediately. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. I think as a running back in this spot, you have to understand there's not going to be a whole lot of room to run. And in this case, ball protection takes precedent over trying to make something happen. On second down, they'll run with White. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. 
Only a yard on the game there, and that'll set up third and 13. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Needed 13, and with a good spot, they got 13 and a first down. Now we're going to get another look at this one. Dennis Allen not happy, so he has thrown the challenge flag. Previous play is under review. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Winds up a very good call there defensively to challenge that one as that now will wind up an incomplete pass. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. The New Orleans offense set to take over. Well, the defense got its job done, forcing the punt. Now the formula pretty simple. They need to find the end zone here. A field goal doesn't help them much. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. What can they draw up now? Time to find out on a third and eight. Carr. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Vita Vea in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One well, of the best individual efforts of the season. Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. Against this complete to Shaheed. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Throwing his car. A quick throw there he is incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Car to throw. Pass complete, Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Get a three timeouts left, right? I think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. Uh, 
They'll come up first and 10 here. Now Carr. Going down the middle and it's complete. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's first down. Here's Carr. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. Now Carr. And that one to the right side and incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. They'll come to the line now on a third and six. Back to throw, Carr. Oh, that is incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Now Carr, got to have this one. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Here's first and goal. to throw his car. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up. And now look at him go. And this defense has broken it open as they return it to the house for six. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. McLaughlin for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Let's go, let's go. This is first and 10. Now 
on first down. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. One final try now for Carr. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go at each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory.